item, which biographer, authority, writer will do a thing like that. No, no. This is not his work. Is mentioned in the Quran. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we do reactions. And other than reactions, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 where we post vlogs weekly, or let me just say every weekend. So feel free to check it out, to check out our second channel and just enjoy the content we're putting out there. And if you want us to do something there and here, just leave a comment and we'll actually do it. Suggestions are welcome. And a big shout out to the people that comment and interact with us. Also, we've got a Patreon account. We've got social media accounts we've got um podcasts and all those things that i've mentioned you can find in the comment section sorry in the description section below and just free to click that link check out what we're talking about and just enjoy what's there what we're putting out i'd like to give a big shout out to our subscribers because we wouldn't be here without you guys we're celebrating thirteen thousand followers and thank you very much if we can reach 13 then we can touch 20 in in less than i don't know maybe even less than two months three months it's up to you guys so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed subscribe if you're watching this if you haven't subscribed subscribe if your friend is watching this without subscribing ask them to subscribe and just subscribe it doesn't take up a lot of time also um a big shout out to everyone that's been commenting interacting with us and suggesting suggesting things you guys are the best and thank you i'm sending love and peace to all of you out there or everyone that's watching this and i hope you're in good health hope everything is fine i just hope you're doing as well as i'm doing so today i'm going to be reacting to jesus and mother mary in the quran i mean did that i'm not sure if i've done this if i haven't i'm not even i'm not very certain otherwise without wasting time let's get into the video. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa is qalatil malaikatu ya Maryamu. So behold, the angel said, O oh Mary, inna Allah has tafaki, Allah has chosen thee, wa taharaki, and purified thee, wa tafaki, Allah nisa al-alameen, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is described in the Quran as a woman chosen above the women of all nations. And I'm saying that this honor, this high honor, is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in the Christian Bible, whether the Protestant version or the Roman Catholic version, I have them both. It continues. Ya Mary Muknuti li Rabbi ki wasjudi warka i maharakin. So, O oh Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O messenger by inspiration. We Muslims are made to believe that Jesus is one of the mightiest messengers of God. That he is the Messiah, the Messiah, translated Christ. And in verse 45, we started with 42, 45, it says again, Behold, the angel said, O Mary, in Allah, that Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from Him. Ismuhul Masih, His name will be the Messiah, Christ. Masih in Arabic, Messiah in Hebrew, translated into Greek, Christos. And Christos is too much. A word to say, so they cut off the os and left with Christ. Christ means the anointed one. Messiah means the anointed one. Masih means the anointed one. They all are trying to say the same thing. 
This Muhul Masi, who is of Numariyama, Jesus the son of Mary, Wajihan fi dunya wal akhira, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter. Wa min al mukarrabin, and of the company of those nearest to God. And wa yukallimun nasa, he will speak to the people, fil mahdi wa kahlan, in childhood and in maturity. Wa min al salihin, and he shall be of the company of the righteous. This is Jesus. He will speak in childhood and in maturity, and he will be in the company of the righteous. Chapter 19, chapter 19, Surah Maryam. You know there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. Who's Mary? Who's this Mary? Mother of Muhammad? No, no. It's the mother of Jesus Christ. In honor of her name, there is a chapter enshrined in the Quran, chapter 19, as Surah Maryam. The first miracle of Jesus in the Quran is that, that as an infant, he defended his mother. There is only one Christ, and that is Jesus Christ. So, where do we get this idea from about Jesus and the Christ? We go to the, our book of authority, the Muslim. He goes to the Holy Quran. The Jesus is mentioned in this volume 500% more times than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Something unimaginable. You can't imagine. A man goes and writes a book and he, he, he keeps himself out of it. He's promoting Jesus, Jesus. 500% more time than himself. Does it make sense? Which writer, which biographer, authority, writer will do a thing like that? No, no. This is not his work. It's mentioned in the Quran five times, total. Four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmad, which is an, an alternative way of naming of the Prophet. Altogether, five. Jesus, 25. Amazing, this book. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, we call him Moses, the holy prophet Moses. I can't imagine anybody guessing. How many times is he mentioned in this book? The prophet of the Jews. How many times is Moses mentioned in this book? 136 times. 136 times the holy prophet Moses is mentioned in this book. And you people are thinking that we are the antichrist, we are the anti-Jews. This book is not anti-Jews nor anti-Christian. You are misjudged, doing injustice to this book. And the Bible tells us, the Holy Bible tells us, He gives us a test. How do we know a true prophet from a false prophet? The first epistle of John, there is a gospel of St. John, that's one thing. And there is an epistle of John. First epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Beloved, John is addressing. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. I'm only reading the Christian Bible, the first epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, you people, my beloved brothers and sisters. He says, believe not every spirit. Don't believe every Tom, Dink and Harry, what he comes and tells you, don't accept it. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. The false prophet is a false spirit. The true prophet is a true spirit. The word prophet and spirit are used synonymously here. Don't believe any spirit. But try them whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. How do you know a false prophet? He's got a false spirit. How do you know a true prophet? He's got a true spirit. That's how you, if he's got the true spirit, he's a true prophet. He's got a false spirit, he's a false prophet. How do we know the true from the false? Verse 2. He says, the prophet that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. Your Bible, your Bible. He said, the spirit means the prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ. He has come in the flesh that is is born on earth. He is a true prophet. 
the prophet that confessed that Jesus is the Christ is of God. The Holy Prophet Muhammad is made to say, وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ Behold the angel said, O Mary, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِّنْهُ Says Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. اسمُهُ الْمَسِيحِ His name will be the Messiah, translated Christ, that Jesus is the Christ. If this is the test, here is the test. Why aren't you reasonable? Why don't you look up your own book and your book gives you the test? Apply to Muhammad. I said, why don't you apply this test to Muhammad? Not only Muhammad said so, but Muhammad sallallahu made it possible for us Muslims to believe in Jesus. One billion and two hundred million Muslims of the world, hundred percent of us, we believe that Jesus was born miraculously, that he is the Christ. He gave life back to the dead by God's permission, and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. And now, uh, yet they consider us to be the Antichrist. Very interesting video. I always like reacting to Amit Didat because I just like the way he delivers his messages. Um, there is one thing I wanted to focus on. Um, we shouldn't, we should be happy people. To start with, we should be happy people. We shouldn't always try to find fault in someone i'm saying this because someone will watch this and they'll leave a mean comment maybe towards muslims muslims will watch this and maybe respond to that other person giving or leaving the comment and maybe attack them there is ways that you can approach people there is ways to make someone understand at the end of the day we all believe in one thing. This is what I keep saying. Whether Muslims, Christians, we all believe one thing. Just that we have different books. So if you want someone to learn from you, humble yourself. Don't come at them aggressive. The minute we can calmly talk and have these conversations, the more light is shed. Always be open to learning. Another thing is always be open to learn. You can't teach that someone that's not willing to learn. Be the person that will change someone's mind because you approach them in a good way. We shouldn't always sit down and say, no, this is right, no, this is wrong, no, this... You haven't even read the Quran, how can it be wrong? You haven't even read the Bible, how can it be wrong? There's always things that you can take from either one of the books i'm just giving these as examples either one of the books and gain knowledge from it knowledge does, doesn't stop with one book there's many writings or texts in this world that you have to look at to get a clear picture of certain things that have been mentioned that have been taught to us whatever the case is otherwise let me know what you thought about this video and make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video